Hey guys, it's Kaveta with SavingWithVeta.com. This video, I'll be going over uh, some information about Walgreens, their register awards, how it works, uh, what you should know going in. So it's, I'm on a little teaching um, path this evening. <laughs> All right, the very first thing about Walgreens, walk with your coupon policy, guys. Walgreens is notorious for not knowing their policy, and you have to have it with you to show them what's going on, especially when it comes to a buy one, get one free sale, adjusting the coupons. Half of them do not know, so you have to walk with your policy so you can show them. So that's definitely the first thing that you need to do when, once you're going to Walgreens. Go on the website, print the policy, and take it with you. Keep it in your binder, keep it in your purse. Whatever you take with you to the store, make sure you always have it on you. Uh, Walgreens give, gives register rewards. These register rewards are manufacturer coupons. Unlike CVS, CVS uh, extra cares like cash. Walgreens register rewards are indeed manufacturer coupons. So you have to use a filler if you are trying to use it on an item that you already have a coupon on because remember in couponing you can only use one coupon per item one manufacturer coupon per item so if you're going to buy um let's see you're going to buy colgate toothpaste and you have a dollar off colgate and that's the only thing that you're buying and it's going to come to two dollars after your coupon you want to use that two dollar register reward you got back from Carmex, you cannot just use that two dollars. You need to get a pencil, one of those are nine cent candy, something you gotta use that as filler so that register reward will attach to that item as its its coupon. So yeah, you know, you definitely have to use fillers. That's the next thing. That's what a filler is. A filler item is use an inexpensive item just to use as a placeholder for something for the coupon, the register reward to attach itself to so fillers we all when it was you know school sh back to school shopping we were using all those little um like the pencils or the crayons and stuff like that as fillers this week we can use these arizona iced teas these are 50 cents and they're so good yeah mc <laughs> or if you're always looking in the clearance section i have fun looking in the clearance section i always find stuff for 10 cents 25 cents so I use those as my fillers. So definitely a filler is just to use as a placeholder or something to attach the register reward to. When you are using more register reward and coupons than items that you have. Register rewards do not cover tax. So once, once you, um, you're paying for your total, you're going to have to pay whatever tax is. And Walgreens register does not tell you what your subtotal is and what your tax is. So normally you just have to calculate before you get up there, you know, in your shopping list or if you're in the store and just doing a quick run through, you have to just go ahead and calculate that real quickly because it will beep if your subtotal is not enough to cover the register word that you're using. So that's another reason why it will beep and a way to um, get away from the beeping is just to make sure that your subtotal is as much as the register reward you're using. Register rewards expire two weeks from the from uh, when you when they're printed. So if you get one today, they're gonna expire on the twenty seventh. They only not have a two week lifespan, not very long. So sometimes it's hard to roll them because there's not such a good deal. You know, maybe next week or the following week, there's there's not that many deals that you want. But just to roll it, you know, you can just grab something that you maybe not need right now or, you know, somebody that you can give it to just so you can get another two weeks lifespan on your register award. Or if you don't want to roll it, you know, just use it to buy tissues or you can actually use it to buy the Sunday paper. So that's another way you can use your register awards if they're expiring and you do not have anything else to use them on. Okay. Um... All right, so you do not want to use your register reward on the same product or from the same company that it printed from. 
So if you have a $2 register reward from Crest, you do not want to use that $2 to buy um, Crest Pro Health mouthwash. It will not print another register reward because you're using this from the same company. I know, crazy. CVS is so much easier without all this headache. But once you get the hang of it, you can do pretty well at Walgreens. So do not use the same register reward from the, the same item or company. It will not print another one. Sometimes they have rolling register rewards. It is far and few between where when you use the register reward that just printed, you can actually use it again and on the same product and it will print another one. Um, if that happens, a lot of times we'll all hear about it, but it hardly ever happens. I mean, it does, but not, you know, as often as we would like. So we could easily just roll them. Um, okay, so buy one, get one coupons at Walgreens. At Walgreens, you can use a coupon on a free item. So if you're, you're, you're doing the buy one, get one, you can use two coupons. One for the one that you're buying and one for the one that you're getting free. That's Walgreens policy. You can use two coupons. Okay. So make sure you have the policy with you again. A buy one, get one sale. You can use a buy one, get one coupon. Walgreens is already giving you one because you're buying one, getting one from them. And when you use a buy one, get one manufacturer coupon, the manufacturer is going to pay Walgreens for one. Okay. So it cancels out each other and you get both for free. All you do is pay tax. So I, I, I loved buy one, get one free with buy one, get one coupons. Especially when we had, what was those? Um, right guard. Yeah, those were awesome. I haven't seen any more of those lately. But you can use a buy one, get one coupon on a buy one, get one sale at Walgreens. And you can use two coupons on a buy one, get one sale. Walgreens accept manufacturer coupon one manufacturer coupon and one not one it's one manufacturer coupon and applicable walgreens coupon slash bracket coupons so you can use one manufacturer coupon but you can use more than one walgreens store coupon that's applicable so if you have a, if you have um i'm trying to remember what we had recently let's just go with crest again since we're all on crest and colgate if you have a Crest toothpaste that's five dollars, and you have a two dollar off Crest, that's gonna bring it to three dollars. But in Walgreens September book, you may have a one dollar off Crest. You can use that, and then say for for instance in the weekly ad, they have a one dollar fifty off Crest. You can use all three of those coupons. You can use the manufacturer coupon the monthly book coupon and the weekly ad coupon you can walgreens coupon policy says you can use all three okay so sometimes that really really does come in handy i've we've had a couple of deals that we've done it like that and scored big so definitely keep that in mind you can use applicable coupons um, from walgreens on one item um their policy is to adjust the coupon down if the coupon exceeds the value of the item or the price of the item they will adjust the coupon down some stores do not adjust the coupon down um i'm not going to go into that one but they will adjust your coupons down if it's more than more than the item so you know a lot of time I've heard, oh, they don't want to take my coupon because the item is 99 cents and my coupon is a dollar. They, they, their policy states that they should. So, <clears throat> again, have your policy with you to show them that, hey, you can adjust it down to 99 cents. So that saves a lot of problems sometimes because sometimes it's just, yeah, it's just short by like a, a penny or, or something and they, you have the hardest time because they do not know how to or do not even know that they can adjust the coupons, but they definitely can. Okay. 
what does rolling your register award means i'm always talking about rolling my register awards blah 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 that just means i'm buying crest hold on huh? <laughs> all right guys i'm back i'm sorry um yeah so i buy the crest after coupon it's two dollars so i use a two dollar i use my cash and pay for that so you pay two dollars cash out of your pocket but then you want to buy the um the airwick and after your coupon the airwick is two dollars and twenty cents you don't want to pay another two dollars so you roll your register reward you buy a filler that's like nine cents so now you're at two dollars twenty nine cents you use the two dollars you just got back from colgate to buy the airwick you pay the 29 cents out of pocket and you get two dollars you get two dollars back from airwick no you take that two dollars that you just got back from airwick and you buy another cold uh crest or whatever we're talking about crest or colgate <laughs> you take that two dollars you buy another crest then when you get the two dollars from crest you take that and buy an airwick or you take that and buy a gain or you use the gain and buy febreze you know just roll it on a product that's not from the same company that's how you roll your register rewards. I think that's pretty much the basics of Walgreens that I that I can come up I can remember right now. Um, if there's anything else, I'll definitely post it. Just trying to instead of writing it out as, as a blog post, I'm just doing a vlog. So because I like talking to you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm tired. Um, I'm sleepy. So if there's anything else you needed to know about Walgreens that I didn't cover, definitely let me know and I will. I'll just put list the rest below. All right, guys. So that's that's Walgreens in a nutshell for you. Hope it made sense. Hope it gave you a better perspective on Walgreens. You can definitely save at Walgreens. Sometimes it's a pain, but you can do good at Walgreens. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Happy couponing. Bye.